हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ डेरिवेशन ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल डिफरेंशिएशन यूजिंग न्यूटन्स बैकवर्ड इंटरप्रिटेशन फार्मूला सो द क्वेश्चन माइट बी आस्क डिराइव द फार्मूला फॉर डी वाई बाई डी एक्स एंड डी स्क्वेयर वाई बाई डी एक्स स्क्वेयर एट एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स एन यूजिंग न्यूटन्स बैकवर्ड डिफरेंस इंटरप्रिटेशन फार्मूला सो लेट सी लेट आई विल राइट इट एज यर लेट वाई जीरो y1 up to y in are the values are the values of y equal to f of x so y equal to f of x is the given function and if you see with the values of x as x0 x1 up to x now it is very important to understand that the data which is to be available that data will be of equally spaced what do you mean by equally spaced data the gap between values of a x is the same so we can write it h equal to step size which will be equal to x1 minus x0 or in other words you can write it as x i Plus one equal to x i plus h. Now what we have to determine? We have to find it out. What is dy by dx at x equal to x n and d square y upon d x square at x equal to x n? So here we have to take a help of Newton's backward interpolation formula. So let me write it as Newton's backward interpolation formula so what is newton's backward interpolation formula already in a previous unit uh, we have gone through this formula y equal to y in plus r into del y in plus r into r plus 1 upon 2 factorial del square y in plus R into R plus one, R plus two divided by three factorial del cube of y in plus dot dot dot. Where if you see what is the value of R, R will be equal to x minus x in upon h, where h is the step size, x n is the thing but a last value from the table. So let me take this as a equation number one. Now what I will do, I will Take a derivative of equation number one with respect to x. So we will get dr by dx. What it will be? One by h into bracket one minus zero. X n is the constant, so its derivative will be zero. So we will get this as a one by h. Let me take this as a equation number two. Now, if you see from this whatever formula here we have written, I am going to write this formula as y equal to y in Plus r into del y in plus r square plus r upon two into del square of y in plus if you do it matrix multiplication sorry if you do it a multiplication of r into r plus one into r plus two you will get r cube plus three r square plus two r divided by Three factorial means six, so it will be. This is nothing but your del cube of y. Let's say up to this only we have considered this formula. So let me take it as this is your equation. Now next is nothing but we will differentiate this equation. So I will write it as differentiate above equation with respect to. R, so therefore, we will write it as dy by dr will be equal to. If you differentiate uh, y in with respect to r, it will be zero. Then next will be if you differentiate r with respect to r, it is one. So you will get it as del y in plus two r plus one divided by two. This is 
del square y in plus 3 r square plus 6 r plus 2 divided by 6 here you will get multiply by del cube of y in absolute or dot now what we will do we know that let me take this as the equation number what was the previous number it was 2 so let me take this as the equation number 3 so therefore I can write dy by dx will be equal to what it will be equal to dy if you see it will be equal to dr upon dx it will be equal to dr upon dx which is previous equation into dy by dr so what is dr by dx if you see from equation number 2 it was 1 by h and what is this let me write this as del y in plus 2r plus 1 upon 2 del square y in plus 3r square plus 6r plus 2 divided by 6 and into we will be writing it as into del cube of y in up to dot 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 now what is the what we have to find it out we have to find it out uh, when x equal to xn what is the differentiation so when x equal to xn y will be equal to y in so therefore you know formula of r is x minus xn upon h so here in place of x we can write it as xn so you will get this answer as a 0 so therefore I can write it as dy by dx at x equal to xn will be equal to what to do you have to put r equal to 0 in this equation in above equation so we will get 1 by h into bracket del of y in plus 1 by 2 del square y in plus 1 by 3 into del cube of y in up to dot 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 so this is what is your equation of first order derivative with the help of Newton's uh, backward interpolation formula now let me find it out d square y by dx square at x equal to x in so what I will do I will say this will be your equation number 4 so what I will do again differentiate equation number 4 and solve so if we differentiate equation number 4 and if we solve then we will get equation of d square y upon dx square at x equal to xn which will be equal to 1 by h into bracket del y in sorry del square y in here also h square will be there 1 upon h square into bracket del square y in plus del cube y in plus 11 by 12 del raise to 4 y in then plus 5 by 6 del raise to 5 y in plus 137 divided by 180 del raise to 6 y in plus 7 by 10 del raise to 7 y in up to dot 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 so no need to solve uh, again differentiation here only by writing this statement again differentiate equation number 4 and solve we will get this equation purposefully I have taken these terms up to del raise to 5 del raise to 6 del raise to 7 because if the question might be asked up to raise to 6 then you should be able to write the formula for this so if you compare Newton's whatever formula based on Newton's forward interpolation and Newton's backward interpolation then you you will observe that in case of Newton's forward interpolation there will be alternate plus minus sign but in case of your Newton's backward interpolation all the elements will of having positive sign so this is what is a derivation of numerical differentiation using Newton's backward interpolation formula. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask any questions. Thanks a lot.